The scribbles are Cree. This one says, Mother Knows Best. Return. Return. Hope. Promise. Any luck getting in? The thing's pretty well protected. I need time. All right, let me know. Nikki! Obvious signs of a struggle, Peter Quill. Yeah, this doesn't look good. Ah, <sighs> oh, appealing. Are you seriously focused on food right now? Mystery makes me hungry. Hey, save me some, will ya? This must be Corel's first kid. I remember she talked about him a lot. He was on Hala, right? When the Shatari... Yeah. Her kid and her husband. Explains how fearless she was during the war. She had nothing to lose. Corel had a real artistic side to her. She was the only Kree I ever knew who painted and played music. I used to think it was a sign of weakness, but... No. It's a strength. Definitely a sign of strength. Well, this is fancy. For valiant heroism against unrelenting tyranny. That's the highest commendation given out by the Kree. How come I never got one of these? I did heroic stuff. You're not a Kree. The resemblance is uncanny. She doesn't look anything like me. She's blue. Besides, why wouldn't Corel have just told me? Protect her daughter, Peter Quill. Copulating with you was a capital offense under the Kree purity laws. That's not a real thing, is it? The Kree are extremely strict about their bloodlines. So, when Corel said we shouldn't be doing this... I was being literal. What is this? Some kind of a threat? The Cree Council demands proof of Nikki's heritage under the Cree purity laws. From a legal perspective, copulating with you is extremely objectionable. From other perspectives, too. Uh, this does not look good. For you? No, for Nikki. What are the chances the Cree are involved in any of this? The Council of Purity isn't cryptic. When they punish someone, they make sure everyone knows it. Corel and Nikki hanging from a wall. I wonder if Nikki made this. I am Groot. Dog report item. Something definitely happened here. Thanks for the update, Drax. You are welcome. Oh, wow! The Kree have comic books? I am surprised. The Kree Council is very strict on approved forms of entertainment. So this could be, like, super valuable then. How valuable are we talking? Nikki's ID. Something seems off, though. What do you mean, off? I don't know. Like it's been flagged or something. Not sure. Is the girl's date of birth on those documents? Does it match with the typical Cree gestation period? I really wouldn't know. Okay, I'm in. But I got bad news, lover boy. What did you find? Come here and I'll show you. Hey, Quill, you interested in seeing this or not? So what am I looking at? Nothing. She's the captain. Captains keep logs. You keep logs? I I'm trying to tell you, they're gone. All of them. Almost like the world mind went out of its way to sever everything. Have you tried turning it off and on? What about backups? Doesn't every Nova ship have a central hub or something? 
A Nexus mainframe? Yeah. If there's ghosts anywhere in the system, that's where. I categorically refuse. Not literal ghost, Drax. He's talking about data. Right? Yes. But we'd have to access the Nexus directly. Means going to the bridge. We're not leaving until we find out what happened. Center of operations it is. According to the ship's map, the bridge should be right through here. Peter, shouldn't we head for the bridge, try to access those logs? Yeah, yeah, I just want to be sure we didn't miss anything. Dog report, I... Oh, crap. Uh, nuts to this, I'm out of here. Stop moving. Warrior does not hesitate. <laughs> Mutt's not answering. Keep trying. Rest of us can focus on figuring a way out. Really? This is the server room, right? And servers mean data? I can't just plug servers into my skull. I still need a central terminal. You said the bridge was on the other side of that corridor. So we just gotta make our way across and then up somehow. So, how do we get across? Peter's the one with the visor. Unless he broke it. I didn't break it. It's weird, right? How the world mines seem to have gone completely dark. That'll do it. Well played, Peter Quill. How am I supposed to know why the pooch ain't picking up? Keep trying. So according to the map I saw, Nexus should be just above us. Uh, shall I throw the road in? No! Come on! <sighs> Alright, let's look around. Maybe we can find something. I have never understood how so much information could be stored in such a magical way. What, you mean servers? All of it. Servers, computers, technology. So you basically don't understand anything I do? Precisely. Dog report item. We have encountered a formidable new enemy, but still no sign of ghosts. He didn't mean literal ghosts. There's an open panel up in the corner there. Pretty sure that's our exit. Perfect. 
so we just gotta jump across a few of these floaty server things? Seems, uh, perfectly safe. They contain near infinite stores of data. Pretty sure they can temporarily support our puny mortal frames. Well, mine anyway. I am crook. And yours too, yes. So, is this another one of Peter's leaders don't go first situations? Really seems like he should be going first. I would give to get into some of these servers. I thought that was the plan. Plan is to get to the bridge and hope that maybe someone left the Nexus unlocked. Wouldn't get my hopes up. All right, let's keep moving. Think all of this could have been avoided had the rodent not broken the glass. You're blaming him for that? His panic scampering is what caused the final break. Your oversized gut is what caused the first 50 breaks. Guys, pretty sure it was already cracked. Hey Groot, any luck getting through to Cosmo yet? I am Groot. Nope, still nothing. Reception will probably be better once we're on the bridge. Yeah, I don't think that's how it works. Perhaps we should have interrogated the robot priest. Yeah, next time we encounter a giant, deadly robot priest, we'll tie him up first and ask questions. Do you have rope? No. Well, then your plan is untenable. Okay, this is it, the command center. Which I guess makes that the next control terminal. Fingers crossed we find something useful. I'm thinking you should do the honors, Well, That does not seem like you. He probably thinks the next is booby-trapped. Ah, uh, that would explain it. Hey, I ain't the one that's eager to know what happened. Let Quill see for himself. Locked. I wonder, though. Nikki really didn't want her mom to know about this pass key she gave me. No way is some kid's card gonna bypass the Nexus. And we're in! You're kidding. Well, yes! Guys, we're in! Get to the juicy stuff already. Channeling your Nova Force. A, a comprehensive guide to meditation and managing your mental health. Actually, I wouldn't mind a copy of that. Pass. Let me get this straight. She became a teapot? That's what my source said. <laughs> Amazing. I hate you all. Well, that don't sound good. The audio file must be corrupted. The audio file and everything else in the galaxy. Attention away team. Please ensure your helmet cams are in full operation ahead of this afternoon's away mission into the quarantine zone. Thank you. Just like Corel, everything by the book. Yeah. Go to the criminal records, Quilt. I want to see my files. It's a list of bucket heads. Ugh. Agent of Thanos. Gamora, care to explain? Not really. Except that it wasn't me. Check it out. Nikki's got a file. Boring. Uh, 
I have heard of this one. He was a good man. Except good means scut when you're dead. AWOL, then who is running Novacor? That's a good question. She crashed into a Leviathan on purpose and is still a better pilot than Quill. Hey! What? You know it's true. Twenty units, mine's the biggest. They can't be that scary if they share a record. <laughs> I've heard of this guy. He's part of a private army called the Lethal Legion. <laughs> More like the Loser Legion. What is it with you Humies and your stupid names? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Star-Lord is not in the same league as Darkhawk, okay? One's the name of the greatest band of all time, and the other's a bird. So, Drax's criminal record is Pretty big. That is what your mother said. <laughs> it's great, because his mother's dead. I thought there'd be more here. Barely scratches the surface. That body, buddy. You know, for a non spacefaring species, us humans sure get around. Unfortunately. Isn't that the guy we saw when we tried to pay our fine? Yeah, that's him. Look, it's Jax's girlfriend. Lady Hellbender is not my girlfriend. Yet. Your friend from the bar? Yep. Grand Unifier Raker. Wonder what he was looking for in the quarantine zone. Probably nothing good. Read it and weep, losers. There ain't a single scam me and Groot haven't pulled off. You name it, we've done it. If you're charged, it means you've been caught. You realize that, right? Your point? Wow. When Kree cops go bad, they really go bad. Actually, an accuser is the equivalent of a judge, jury, and executioner. Wow, your record's a lot bigger than I expected. How big were you expecting? Minuscule. Another guy from Earth. I'm telling you, Quill, C-53 is the trailer park of the galaxy.
Fun fact, that bounty Andu put out is how me and Groot met Quill. I'm just glad I talked you out of collecting it. <laughs> Who says you did? I am unfamiliar with this Kree. One of the nameless. Oh, spooky. All right, let's take a look. Wow, super riveting, Quill. And to think we could still be reading my criminal record. Please do not. I was wondering how they knew about us. Quill must have tripped the sensors on the way out. Isn't that the mining rig from the quarantine zone? Oh, great. Looks like your girlfriend was collecting evidence against us even after the two of you struck a deal. I still do not understand how the Churchman's ship exploded. The Nova Corps is known for their security protocols. It's called stupidity, Drax. Something the bucket has got a lot of. Gotta be something in here. Hey, wasn't that... The mining ship we explored in the quarantine zone, yeah. Where's the footage from? Signal's stronger. We must be close. How close? Hard to say. There's too much interference. Centurion Corral! Found something. after we left. Flark. That thing. You don't think. It is the creature that devoured our monster. <laughs> Could have been a million things. I mean, it's restricted space for a reason. I'm Groot. No, you're a Lotus Scut. That thing's got nothing to do with us. <sighs> that gem Corral picked up. I think it's the same one we shot in the quarantine zone. Uh, we? You're the one who shot it. Fine, the gem I shot. The point is, is that shadow thing came out of it. We did this. The quarantine zone's a giant death trap. So we released a shadow thing. We made it out, didn't we? Your stupid girlfriend probably did too. You've been saying the whole time she's probably dead. Eh, probably alive, probably dead, whatever. Important thing is, we're all fine. Corel is tough. If anyone made it out, it's her. They know it. Read our intentions. No, you've made them pretty clear. Sometimes sacrifices must be I had to check. Groot, sweep the leg. Grand Unifier. Breaker. Right? First, let me just say it's really cool that you've heard of us, right, guys? And it's cool that you didn't try to kill us just then, especially with your two pals right there. You could have totally ripped us apart the moment you walked in, which we obviously all appreciate. But also, we've kind of got a few questions, like... Where are Centurion Corel and her daughter? You came here seeking truth. The Matriarch wishes to share it with you.
knobs and we're stuck here. Hey, at least the dumb guys let us keep our weapons. They demonstrate their lack of fear. It was a proven battle tactic. Katathian warriors often ride into battle completely naked. Keep your pants on. Although, it could be used as a distraction. Yeah, no. Any other ideas? Can you froth? I can froth. Can you twitch? Yeah, I'm pretty twitchy. All right. On my cue, you drop, froth, and twitch. While they're all distracted, we take off down one of them side halls. What about me? You, well, you know, you, uh, take one for the team. I'm not gonna... Then walk with me! Come on, Quill, just grab your chest and drop. Find another plan. So, the Matriarch asked for us by name? You, specifically. Although I cannot fathom why. Peter is constantly surprising us, too. But if he's first in line for brainwashing, I gotta say... Is that what you think? That we're brainwashing people? We've met your recent converts. Overly zealous doesn't even begin to describe They them. have embraced the Matriarch's promise. A life-altering experience, yes. But one that must be freely accepted. Will, his drone. It's her ticket out of here. What? How? What are you two whispering about? Well? He wants to know if you know you're the bad guy. Reductive concepts like good and bad led us into the Galactic War. Actually, we were just admiring how huge this place is. It is grand, isn't it? Belief in the Matriarch restored it to what it was before the war. Just as her promise will restore everyone we lost. Mothers. Lovers. Sons. This promise will raise the dead? Of course it won't. We can't bring people back. We can't. But the matriarch, the divine vessel. I got an idea, but I need time. Stall him. I intended to kill you. Wow, oh, oh, okay, that... Uh, that is a cool trick. We'll explain how you did it. Sorcery. I can understand how some might see it that way. But I used science. The science of faith. Faith is not science. But faith energy is. This skiff. My inquisitors. Even Sacrosanct herself. All powered by the same miraculous energy. Energy I discovered. I'm going for the drone. Keep him talking. But now? What? What is it? It's just, um... You, uh, you, uh, discovered stuff, and you claim to, uh, control energy? Faith energy? Right. Uh, well, it just seems like all this, uh... I, I think what Gamora's point is, is, um, you say you have all of this energy. Faith energy. Right, but when we first saw you, Weren't you stranded on Hallis Hope because your shuttle ran out of juice? Yes, I was, but... So why didn't you just believe that your ship had more gas? It doesn't work that way. Faith energy is a byproduct of belief. Focused belief. <clears throat> okay, sure. I saw this proven. Focused belief in him is what enabled us to survive. So, you were saying... Wait. Weren't there more of you? What? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Nope. It seems like the kind of thing that we would be aware of. Indeed. Please, continue your fascinating account of 
you know. What did you mean when you said them just now? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? And could you maybe talk some more about it? I was talking about him. The healer who could not reverse the death of my son! <laughs> you! Get off that now. Back with the others. <sighs> what? I was just admiring- Silence! It's time to meet the Matriarch. So, we gotta summon the Milano. Now, if you'd kept Grand Unicorn talking, I could answer that. Now we gotta look for a calm relay station. Ridiculous. The ship is exceptionally spacious. Yeah, well, maybe we can ask Quill's girlfriend for directions after she's warped our brains. Come on. What? I'm just saying what we're all thinking. Summon the Milano. No. If you'd kept Grand Unicorn talking, I could answer that. Now we gotta look for a calm relay station. Ridiculous. The ship is exceptionally spacious. Yeah, well, maybe we can ask Quill's girlfriend for directions after she's warped our brains. Come on. What? I'm just saying what we're all thinking. Guardians, you may approach. Peter Quill, order your offspring to come down from there this instant. Maybe I'm out of line, but aren't you a little young for a dress that short? Aren't you a little old to write your name on your clothes? Uh. Took you long enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, chatty grandpa gets. Hey, we're gonna get you out of here. Just follow my lead. But this is where we're supposed to be. We're gonna save everybody. I'm gonna save them, I promised. Come on, snap out of it, kid. You're just saying what he wants you to say. Whoa, whoa, hold on, everybody! The just... girl is clearly not herself. Of course I am. But I'm more than just me. Where's your mom? Mom is here. She's right here. Inside me. Oh, thanks for clearing that up. The light... joined us. I thought she was gone. But I can bring her back. They're all waiting... for us to bring them back. All we need... is faith. The Grand Unifier helped me understand. This is one big con. Trust me, I know a thing or two about- Why can't you just believe in me? Why won't you just listen? Nobody ever listens. 
until I show them. You saved me! That's how! I knew you would never leave me! I, I, I didn't, I mean... Look at you! Look at you, all grown up! And into the great leader I knew you would become! <laughs> Peter, I am so proud of you. Your father would be so proud. I, I, I don't understand. I, I saw you die. Am I... Can I go back? You are here. That's all that matters. We have all the time in the world now. You and me, and your friends, too. My friends? Sure. The house is plenty big enough. And I want to meet this amazing team of yours and hear all about your incredible adventures. <laughs> <laughs> that is... You don't know how bad I've wanted this. Oh, nothing will ever break us apart, I promise, Peter. I promise. I can't believe I have you back. Uh, Mom, you're squeezing kind of tight. We have so much time to make up for. Let go of me. Stop. I can't believe I have you back. Seriously, Mom. I can't believe I have you back. Uh, Mom, just please let go of me. I can't believe I have you back. Uh, Mom, you're squeezing kind of tight. We have so much time to make up for. Maybe we'll... That was a little loose. Shouldn't be the cause of the problem, though. I guess that needs replacing. Plugs are like new, so that's not the problem. Hmm. Might need to top off the oil. Peter! Dinner's almost ready! Yeah, be right there, Mom! Meredith Quill, where do you keep your carving knives? Oh, there's one in the drawer, nearest the stove. All I see is a dull instrument fit for a child. <laughs> That's the one. I will have to bring you a Katathian blade on our next visit. They can slice through solid steel. That's very generous, Drax. I just don't know how often I'll be chopping through something that hard. <laughs> I can also supply a few recipes. My wife makes a delicious axe head soup. That sounds hearty. It actually tastes a lot better than it sounds. Our fiercest warriors swear by it. Well, in that case, how can I visit? Hey, uh, Quill, can you do something about your mutt? He won't stop staring at me. No, he just wants to play. Maybe you should take him outside, let him chase you around. Har har, you're just about as funny as this game is exciting. You know, we could 
could all go see a game next time. It's not the major leagues, but you might appreciate it more after seeing it live. I'd like that. There you are, Peter. I was just about to come out and call you again. Some things never change, I suppose. Ah, Peter Quill. Your mother was just telling us about your childhood. Just some of your better adventures? She also told us she had found a suitable mate for you, but you refused to see reason. Drax, you said that would stay between us. You're still pushing that Janie thing? She's a lovely girl, Peter, who's turned into an even lovelier young woman. Better than all the rest of Your son is rather promiscuous, Mary. Dude! Not cool! Why do I feel like I'm about to get grounded? You don't know how bad I've wanted this. Oh, nothing will ever break us apart. I promise, Peter. I promise. I can't believe I have you back. Uh, Mom, you're squeezing kind of tight. We have so much time to make up. Let go of me. Stop. Stop <laughs> hugging me. Peter. It's Peter. What are you doing? I'm sorry. This isn't funny. Put that down, young man. Please. You have to trust me. <laughs> of course it's me, sweetie. It's just been so long. I saw you die. You saved me. It's okay. Let yourself believe. The promise will protect us. Things will be as they always should have been. Hmm. Might need to top off the oil. That was a little loose. Shouldn't be the cause of the problem, though. Plugs are like new, so that's not the problem. I guess that needs replacing. Peter! Dinner's almost ready! Yeah, be right there, Mom! Meredith Quill, where do you keep your carving knives? Oh, there's one in the drawer, nearest the stove. All I see is a dull instrument fit for a child. <laughs> That's the one. I will have to bring you a Katathian blade on our next visit. They can slice through solid steel. That's very generous, Drax. I just don't know how often I'll be chopping through something in that part. <laughs> I can also supply a few recipes. My wife makes a delicious axe head soup. That sounds funny. It actually tastes a lot better than it sounds. Our fiercest warriors swear by it. Well, in that case, how can I visit? I still don't know why the hitter doesn't bring his bat with him around the bases. Or why they don't blow up when they run across them. Like mines, you know? <laughs> you two sound like you need to unwind. Sorry, Mayor. It's kind of hard to turn off. You should take a bath after dinner. It's very relaxing. chicken all my life, but you make it sound so appealing. Can I eat in the living room? No way, we're all going to sit at the table and eat together.
That was a little loose. Shouldn't be the cause of the problem, though. Hmm. Might need to top off the oil. Plugs are like new, so that's not the problem. I guess that needs replacing. Peter! Dinner's almost ready! Yeah, be right there, Mom! Meredith Quill, where do you keep your carving knives? Oh, there's one in the drawer, nearest the stove. All I see is a dull instrument fit for a child. <laughs> That's the one. I will have to bring you a Katathian blade on our next visit. They can slice through solid steel. That's very generous, Drax. I just don't know how often I'll be chopping through something that hard. <laughs> I can also supply a few recipes. My wife makes a delicious axe head soup. That sounds hearty. It actually tastes a lot better than it sounds. There you are, Peter. I was just about to come out and call you again. Some things never change, I suppose. Ah, Peter Quill. Your mother was just telling us about your childhood. Just some of your better adventures? She also told us she had found a suitable mate for you. But you refused to see reason. Drax, you said that would stay between us. You've only been on Earth for half a day, Mom, and you're already playing matchmaker? I've waited this long for granted. Haven't you told her about Nikki, Peter? Nikki? Who's she? She is Peter Quill's illegitimate daughter. Your illegitimate granddaughter. Uh, I was trying to find the right time to tell you? Sounds like we need to have a serious talk over dinner, Peter. Why do I feel like I'm about to get grounded? I mean, I've had chicken all my life, but you make it sound so appealing. Can I eat in the living room? I can't believe you still have this. The craftsmanship is shoddy at best. Be nice, Strath. 